High Commissioner of India to Malaysia, H. E. Shri B. N. Reddy, inaugurated the Brahmos Pavilion at DSA in Natsek, Asia. The event highlighted India's defense exports and potential collaborations. Brahmos Corporation, a key feature, showcased air and ship-launched missile variants for Malaysia's defense needs, emphasizing India's commitment to regional security cooperation and defense modernization. Yantra India Limited achieved a milestone by dispatching its first export order of 155mm M107 shells from Ordnance Factory Ambaja. Led by Executive Director Anjan K. Mishra, this marks a strong start to the financial year, boosting YIL's presence in the global defense market. The U.S. Marines and the Indian Army are leveraging Polaris MRZR ATVs to boost operational capabilities. Polaris has developed a 1 kilowatt and a 5 kilowatt power export system for the MRZR Alpha, supporting offboard systems like radars and communications. The Indian Army's ATVs, showcased during the Republic Day Parade, emphasize rapid deployment and versatility in various terrains. Bengaluru-based New Space Research and Technologies secured an Indian patent for their AI system managing heterogeneous robot swarms. The system, acting as a central hub, optimizes task allocation using real-time data from the robots. Applications range from search and rescue to industrial automation, marking a significant advancement in intelligent robotic collaboration. The Indian Air Force plans to acquire nearly 200 Rudram-1 new generation anti-radiation missiles to neutralize enemy air defenses. These missiles feature dual-seeker technology for targeting active and passive radar systems. Expected to replace older missiles, production may involve Adani defense, 